Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve a really soft, smoky, subtle eye. I was wearing this uh, look in a few recent videos actually. I filmed a couple of videos back to back and I had this makeup on. And I had a lot of requests to do a video on the look. And I thought it was perfect because I'm only utilizing one tiny little palette for the entire look. I do all of the eyeshadow with just this one little palette. So I thought that you guys would appreciate that because you don't really need a lot of products. It's simple and quick, as I think most of my makeup looks are. I, you know, I'm a mom, I have two little girls, I work, I juggle a lot of things, and I like to leave the house put together, but I don't have a lot of time to spend on my makeup. So hopefully you guys find my makeup tutorials really simple and easy and um, something that you guys can follow along and actually achieve. This one is definitely going to be just that. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So I'm going to pull my hair back because I just washed it this morning and it's going to get in my way. Even though I don't really like how my hair looks pulled back today, we're going to do that. I have a one video where I had several people comment and they were like, can you please pull your hair back? Because it was so distracting because you kept messing with it and I didn't even realize that I was. So I'm starting with all of my makeup on. I even have a little lip product on. I will leave links down for everything that I have on, even though I'm not talking about it or showing it in the video. It will always be linked down below. For eyes, I'm going to start by prepping my eyes with the Milani eyeshadow primer. This is a fantastic, fantastic eyeshadow primer and it's really inexpensive. I'm not quite sure how much it costs, but I I would be surprised if it's more than like five or six dollars. Um, I like to use my fingers. I just put a little bit on my back of my hand and then I just kind of, you know, tap my fingers together and I just put it on my lids. With eyeshadow primer, you want to make sure that you keep it pretty sheer. That's why I like to use my fingers because I can really shear the product out real well and get it even just so that there's not more product in one part of the eyelid and not the other because when you go in with shadow, any area that you might have skipped or any area that you might have more primer in than other places, it's just, it's just going to stick and the shadow is not going to look uh, even and smooth. So I like to use my finger just to kind of make sure that it's nice and sheer. All right, so we are working with the Viseart. I think these palettes are called the Theory Palettes. Yes, this is the Theory Palette. And this is the shade Cashmere. So it has six shadows. It has uh, these three are all matte and these three are all shimmer. Uh, they're very cool tone shades. You have a great highlight color for under the brow bone, a great transition shade. This is on the darker side for a transition shade though. So if you are very fair skinned, uh, you'll probably want to make sure you use a really light fluffy brush or maybe grab a transition shade from another palette. Um, you also can just grab a little bit of this and then grab a little bit of this to soften it a little bit. That's also a trick. Um, but yeah, we're going to start with this palette. So I'm going to start and I'm going to take the matte light shade and I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. This one's by MAC. It's the 224. And I'm really just going to go all over the eyelid just to kind of set that primer a little bit. And I am taking it up to my brow bone because this is going to be my brow highlight. If you haven't played with Busy Art shadows, they are really great quality. I would say some of the best. If I had to list like the best quality shadows in my opinion and I had to pick like I don't know, maybe five or six, this would definitely make that list. They're really great quality. They have big palettes that are $80, um, and I have one of those. I have the neutral matte one, and then they came out with these theory palettes, which are $45, and they have six shadows. All right, so now that we have that on, I'm gonna go in with the same brush, and I'm gonna use the uh, shade right here, this brown matte, it's kind of like a transition shade. Because it is dark, I'm not really like digging my brush in there. I really don't want to pick up a lot. I always like to start with less product. I always tap it. I can always go back and add more, but I really want to get a good sense of how strong and how dark this is going to come off. So I always start with, with a little bit. And I'm really starting in the outer corner of my eye and then softly just going back and forth like a windshield wiper into my crease. I have slightly hooded eyes, and I can't believe I've never done a specific video for hooded eye makeup. Um, I, I think I need to do that. Let me know what you guys think down below. But one way that I always do my crease is I always look into a mirror. So I never like squint, I never try and keep my eyes closed, because if you concentrate on just getting that color in the crease, when you open your eyes, you're not gonna see it. It's almost like, what's the point of doing it? You kind of want to create the um, a halo is what I call it so that when you're talking to people when you're looking around when you're you know your face is doing the natural face movements that we do people can see that shadow so you start in your crease but then you kind of softly like diffuse that color up a little bit that's what I'm doing 
And I always start in the outer corner of my eye because the first place that you put your brush, whether it's an eyeshadow brush or a foundation brush or a blush brush, the first place that you put that brush is where you're gonna apply the most product, the most color. So I don't want it to be darkest here, I want it to be darkest here. So I'm starting there and then I'm just working my way inward. And I'm actually gonna take this a little further than I normally do, so I'm kind of taking it over to where my brow starts, but I'm not pulling it down. I'm just kind of taking it up and then I'm just pulling it almost just straight across. Okay, so now that I have both eyes done, I'm gonna do a really quick check in the mirror to see if, you know, if they're even, if there's one eye that needs a little bit more. When I'm looking in the mirror, I think this one is a little bit stronger than this one. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add a little more product right here on the outer corner. When you dig into these shadows, there is, they are kind of dusty, so they are a little messy. So you wanna make sure that you either blow on your brush or tap. I recommend tapping, because if you blow, you might accidentally spit on your brush and you don't want to get that on your face. Okay, so now that I have my crease in, I'm gonna go and apply the color that I'm gonna apply on my lid. And I am going to actually use all three of these shimmery shades here, but I'm gonna use the same brush. So I'm gonna keep it really simple, you guys. I'm using the 213 by MAC. Really, any basic shader brush that's about this size and about this dense will work. Um, I am going to start with the lightest shade and then build my way up to the darkest. None of these shades are dark at all, but I am gonna start with the lightest one, which is this one here. It's just this like, it's just like this really beautiful shell shade. And I'm just gonna get on the tip of my brush and I'm gonna just go right here in the inner corner and pop that in the inner corner of my eye. I'm barely taking this on the lid. In fact, if I'm gonna get really detailed with you guys, I'm applying it right in the inner corner and it's almost like I'm stopping before my eyelashes even start. That's how, uh, that's how small of an area that I'm applying this. And this is just gonna give you that really bright, wide-eyed effect. So do you see what that did? It just brightened up my eyes, made me look very awake, made me look very alert, which I'm not always. In fact, I'm very rarely awake and alert. Okay, next I'm gonna work with a shade that I'm gonna put on the center of my lid, and it's the shade right underneath it. It's just a little bit deeper, kind of, it looks almost like brown, bronzy in the palette, but it's pretty metallic, so when it goes on, it looks even a little bit lighter than it does in the palette. Because it's so metallic and reflects so much light, you just see this brightness. And I'm loading the side of my brush up. Remember, with the light one, I loaded the tip. On this part, I'm loading the side of my brush up because I'm gonna go on my eyelid and basically just kind of press that eyeshadow onto my lid. I find this shade to be a little bit, I don't know what the word is, um, I don't know. I guess I find it to have a little more fallout than the other one, the other shimmer one, the one that I applied in the inner corner. So a couple things with that. Pressing it like this is going to help and then also tapping your brush. I know I keep saying that, but this, this shade in particular is a, definitely a shade that you want to tap your brush with. I have these lash extensions, so they do a good job of catching that shadow, but they also it also gets stuck in my lash extensions and they're hard to clean, and I would just rather not do that. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is just grab this like silvery gray shade right here, and I'm just gonna pop that on the outer corners a little bit. And for this, I'm using the tip of my brush. And I'm just gonna pop that in the outer corner. This is so simple, you guys. I mean, really anyone can do this. It is so simple. And all of these steps aren't even necessary. To be honest, you could have been done after you did this in the inner corner and you still have a complete eye makeup look. All right. Next, I'm just gonna take a clean brush, well, almost clean, and I'm just gonna kind of go underneath my eye. I don't see any fallout there, but sometimes these shadows are so fine that you don't see it, and then later throughout the day, you look in the mirror and your concealer looks muddy or dirty, and that's because you have been having shadows sit there for four hours and you didn't know about it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little kind of checkpoint. Um, okay, so I'm tempted to go in with a darker shade, but I'm not. I'm gonna skip the darkest shade right here. I'm not gonna use that on my shadow. I am gonna take the brush that I used for my crease though, and I'm just gonna go over it. I didn't add any 
product to the brush. I'm really just kind of doing this as a last step just to kind of perfect and blend everything nicely. And I'm a little, a little shiny here. I'm taking this brown liner by Urban Decay. These are their 24-7 glide-on pencils. And this one is in the shade Whiskey. It's just like a, a rich brown. And I'm going underneath my eye. I'm not taking it all the way to the inner corner. I like to take my lower liner from the outer corner to about halfway is kind of my, is where I stop. Everyone's eye shape is different. So just because I do my eyes a certain way doesn't mean that this is the way that you have to do it. You know, if you have larger eyes and you like to kind of minimize them a little bit, then you might want to take your liner a little further in than mine, but I want to make my eyes appear a little bit bigger, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, then I'm going to take this, then I am going to go in with a darker shade for eyeliner, and I'm taking the this 266 brush. It's basically a standard kind of angled brush, and I'm just going to go right on top of that eyeliner. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm gonna put mascara on. I'm just gonna put it on my lower lashes because I did just get a lash fill this week. So my lash extensions are looking kind of lovely, I think. Um, I did a mixture of a volume and classic this time and I really, really like it. I think it is soft and fluttery but thick and full the way that I like. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go on my lower lashes. One thing that I did that um, earlier is I lined the inner rim of my eye with that brightener pencil that I love. Um, I'll leave a link to it down below. And I just realized that I didn't bring it upstairs with me, but I do have a little bit of a brightening pencil in my inner rim, um, which I really love to do. I just think that that opens up the eyes. It makes them look very awake. Uh, I have pretty dry eyes. If you've ever noticed in my videos, sometimes my eyes look really red. Um, I have pretty severe dry eyes, so using that white liner uh, just really kind of freshens my eyes up a little bit. So I do have that on. I don't know if you can tell here in the video, but I didn't bring it upstairs, but I do want to mention that. All right, so for liner, I have on this liner by Bite Beauty, and it is in the shade uh, 026. So it's kind of just like this pinky. It's not really nude. It does have some pink to it. Um, and then I'm going to top it with this Sephora lip gloss. This is just a sample, but I love these. I keep meaning to buy a larger size. It's the Gel Gloss Ultra Shine Lip Gel. And I'm not quite sure. Oh, this color is Pin Up Pink. They're all pretty sheer, though. So even though it looks like it has a lot of color, it does It has to kind of fade pretty quickly, that color does. But that shine does not. Okay. And that wraps up this look so simple and with one eyeshadow palette, one little tiny eye. I love these. Um, this I did purchase this from Sephora and the Sephora VIB sale is going on right now. Today is Friday the 10th. It's going to be going through the 15th, which I think is Wednesday. Uh, I will get this video filmed and edited and up before then. Um, I will link all of my Sephora videos down below that I did about a week or so ago where I talk about more products that I recommend. Um, I'll leave those video links down below. But I I didn't really plan my Sephora schedule and I posted all my Sephora sale videos during the Rouge portion of the sale and then realized not everyone is a Rouge member. In fact, there's probably more VIB members than VIB Rouge. So I will leave a link to all those videos down below so you can check those out. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Let me know what you think of this look. Let me know. I love your feedback. Tell me, one, if you like it. Two, if you think it's simple and easy and something that you can do yourself. And then three, if you actually do it and what you think. Um, I would love, love to hear that. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook. It's both at Lisa J Makeup. If you do any of my looks, uh, tag me in them and let me know uh, so I can check those out. Thank you guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye.